Hi everybody, Andrew Luby here. You're listening to Tip FM. It is a Friday, a beautiful sunny day, and a shame to stay indoors. So grab your kids, maybe go to the nearest park or river or whatever you like to do. We got the news coming up for you soon, but between now and then, the brand new song from Tim Toohey. It's called The Mess I'm In. I don't know where I'm going. I'm still trying to find out where I've been. Are you still mad with us? Why? You knew very well the redundancy money wouldn't last long. Moving to Clamel was our only way. Well, unless you want to move to Costa Rica. Huh? Come on and give the boss a call, get the old job back. Huh? No! Clamel will do. But I left all my friends in Dublin. But honey, you'll make new friends. I seriously doubt that. I live across the pond, oh. over there by the barbecue. That's my hobby, John. Oh. And our kids, Michael and Laurie, are there by the tree. Well, this lady here is my daughter, Nancy. The small fella is still asleep in the back of the car, is Fred. And this is my husband, Wes. Hey, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Ah, it's a nice neighborhood you have here. And a barbecue and everything. Yeah, we try to do it whenever the weather is nice. Uh -huh. And as my hobby is a rep for a local beer company, Ooh. we have plenty of fun. <laughs> And it's, it's very quiet around here, isn't it? Well, most of the houses are owned by the people who live here. Yeah. So there's no hassle. Yeah. You'll see for yourself. Since you won't pack, you'll feel that this is home. That's the part I absolutely hate. Oh, I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> you should come to us for dinner some evening. Oh, yeah. we'd be delighted. Absolutely thrilled once we get settled. Well, welcome to the neighbourhood. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, may not be so bad here after all. Leave her alone. Ooh, oh, happy days. While the kids are asleep. Oh, that's it. I'm officially done for today. And me too, me too. Hold on a second. I think I have an idea how I'd like to decorate this room. I'd like to do, paint the whole room light blue. I'd like to hang our photos on those two walls. Maybe those two rooms we got from Jason for anniversary. Put them over the fireplace. I'd love to put the TV in the corner, a nice bookcase by the side of the fireplace, and we could put Fred's ball pool beside the sofa. What's that noise? I, I thought you said the kids were asleep. Oh, they were. Oh, I'll go and check the new house. Maybe they can't sleep. Yeah. Well, you know, we should get one of those um, baby monitors. So at least that way we can see what Fred's up to. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hello. What's going on in here? Um, um, we're, 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 we're just... Doing our homework. We'll get on with it then without using your lips. What was that all about? Oh, nothing. Just the kids. Mm. Hey, how was your day? Oh, it was fantastic. Wait, remember last week when I said to you about getting the baby monitor? Yes, why? I got us one. Great. Look at that. It's very straightforward. All you have to do is plug it in. We download an app onto the tablet or the phone or whatever, and we can see Fred whenever we want. Great. Let's give it a go tonight. Yeah. Come here, uh, what's with the hat? Oh, Max dug that up in the backyard. I'd thrown it away, but he obviously found it. No, oh, lovely. No, I'll throw it outside in the bin. We're taking them tomorrow anyway. PJ, how this telegraph sent? So when do you think we paint this room? Oh, I'd say we get this done over the weekend. Oh, that's some self so oh, oh, Wait, hold on. It's okay. Now is the perfect opportunity to check out the new baby monitor. Okay, okay, but is it just me, or did we just see something here? I don't know what I've just seen, but I want to make sure it's just my imagination. Let's check the house. Yeah. Fred with his buggy and I will take care of him there too. No, I know you want to see Michael but it's the first time we're going to the neighbour's house and I want it to be perfect. You can see Michael another time. So, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna watch a movie. Celtic days again. Yeah, why? Because you've seen it like a million times and you said it was crap. Yeah, well, movie's cool. Acting is in the best, but visual effects and music are awesome. <laughs> Whatever you say, kiddo. Come here, listen. If you stay and keep an eye on Fred tonight, yeah, I'll take you to where they shot that movie. It's only up the road. Really? Yeah, St. Patrick's well. Okay, well, I guess I can always see Michael next weekend. sure to be okay with red wine. She said, I thought she said she preferred the red wine. That's all we have anyway. Hi, come in. Hi. Hi. This is for you. Oh, thank you very much. I'll show you where John is. Great. How you How's doing, going? Mate? Good to see you. Sit down. Hey. What you watching? Ah, just some documentary. Ah, yeah. So, how are you finding the estate? Yeah, man, I like it a lot, yeah. It's, um, lots of nice people, it's, it's not too far from town, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much exactly what we were looking for. Happy days. Yeah. Beer? That'd be great. Cheers. So I've just been uh, mesmerised by this painting. Where, where'd you get it? Got that from a friend of ours, Magda. She's mad about history, especially mm. local history. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this guy is hideous. Who is he? That there. That's Thomas Mika. The late 18th century, there used to be a village here. Where the estate is now, legend has it. Children from the uh, village started to go missing. One a day, one a week. Anyway. The locals did everything they could to try and save them, but they continue to go missing. Dinner is ready, guys. So they accused one man, Thomas Mika, of being the baby snatcher. And they killed him. After that, no more infants went missing. And no more Thomas Mika. Yeah. <laughs> it's a horrible story. 
A legend, but an awful one. What can I say? 18th century tip wasn't exactly peachy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but that story gives me the chills, Don. Ah, go on. I could tell you stories from our time in Dublin that'd give you nightmares. I bet you could. <laughs> but the sad thing about this story is they never found any of the bodies. Lights out. Oh, does that happen often? Third time, yeah. six months. Oh, honey, I better ring Nancy to see if she's alright. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll check the app on Fred. Nancy, honey, is everything alright? No, I'm scared. Don't be. Jamie said these blackouts happen from time to time. It'll be back soon. No, it's not that. I was texting Michael, right? And I was taking a selfie. Then I saw somebody on the screen. He was so scary. With blood all over his face. Nancy, what if I told you about watching horror films? They give you nightmares. Now, can you go upstairs and check on Fred, please? No, Mom, trust me. You gotta believe me. He might be still in the house. He was so scary. With his hat, beard, and blood all over his face. Yeah, yeah, Nancy. A man with a hat, beard, and blood all over his face. How many times did I tell you? Mom, he was Mika! Nancy, get out of the house! Stay here. 